What's up YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with Sumigang Production and this is Cinex Mini Keyboard. I use this exact model for my TV box and I'll tell you guys about that in a bit. The model I have is the KB062. They do have other keyboards made for different countries and if you guys are curious and want to read a little bit more about this, I'll provide a link in the description box below. And if you guys want to get it, you can order it right there as well. I do get a kickback, so you guys are supporting my channel if you guys did want to help support me for whatever reason. But anyways, like I said, I do use this for my TV box. And the reason being is because if you guys use a remote control like this, it's very annoying having to type in anything on Netflix, YouTube, or anything for that matter. It's very annoying having to click the arrow keys. It takes a lot of time and it's very time consuming. And that's why I got this one right here. The way it connects, it uses a 2.4 gigahertz USB transmitter and it just plugs in and that's pretty much it. It's plug and play, it's very straightforward. I absolutely love it. It also comes with a USB dongle and what I mean by that is that it has a male connector that plugs into either your TV box, your computer, and on the other side it has a female USB dongle where you can plug in the receiver, but it has a mini USB connector to there. And what I love about this, I was super surprised when I first got it. I didn't really read too much about it, I just saw it and I really wanted it. but. It connects and charges with a mini USB cable, which also does come supplied. I like that USB dongle combination. You don't have to worry about any AA or AAA batteries. If it's running dead, it does let you know it turns orange or red, depending on how low the battery is. It will let you know that the battery itself is running low and you could just plug it in right there and still use it at the same time. I thought that was brilliant and I absolutely love that feature. The battery itself, it uses an 800 milliamp, 2.96 watt lithium ion battery. It's pretty small, but considering what you're using this for, it actually stays charged for a pretty long time. I guess I could have this one on for about one or two weeks, give or take. Um, I did fully charge this one time and so far we are good. So it, you don't have to worry about charging this on a consistent basis, which is one of my favorite things. And the other thing that I really love about this, especially for my TV box, is that it has a built-in mouse. I thought that feature alone was really awesome, but I was very unsure on how the function of it would work. And I could tell you right away, it works pretty much like a laptop mouse pad which I love a lot because on the right side it has a scroll wheel so you could scroll down on your web browser, menu, things like that. But what I found out, at least with the TV box I'm using, it doesn't really utilize that feature all the way around. So for example, if I'm in Netflix, I can't scroll which is a bummer. I'm not too sure if there's a way to kind of work it or have it operate properly but at least for Netflix with my TV box, it doesn't work, so that was a bummer. I do have to left click and hold to scroll down, so just like your laptop, how you have to scroll, instead of using the scroll wheel, you have to left click and then scroll up. It's kind of annoying. There is a left click and a right click button, which is pretty interesting. It works exactly how it is. There's shortcuts as well. I don't really utilize those shortcuts that often. The only one I use is the home button, and I wanna let you guys know I do recommend checking it out because there's a search button, a go to my computer button, the home button, left click, right click, you can change the notification, check your email, and mute it as well, which are right here. And those buttons are really awesome, but since I'm only using this for my TV box, the home button is the E button, which is, I would assume, like the internet type of thing, and the actual home button is not operational for my TV box. So that kind of got me confusing, but if you're using this on a computer, then it would make a little bit more sense. But the E, I'm not, I don't know, it's just, the E is just weird because that's a home button and it's E. So 
I don't know. All in all, the keyboard itself feels absolutely amazing. It's very tactile and there's a lot of features on here that I just absolutely love. And the other one is a backlit keyboard. It has a backlit key on here, which is amazing. I don't know, it's just blowing me away because it works really well. And the thing about the backlit keyboard, it's very subtle. So it's not prominent, but when it's night, you could see it perfectly well, but it's not overbearing if that really makes sense to you guys. But I like that a lot. And the thing about this is that it has a battery saving mode. So if you have your backlit keys on, what it does is that it would stay on for several seconds and then after that limit hits and you're not using it, obviously, it would turn off. And you could use any button and it would turn it on, which I like a lot. It saves the battery on here so you don't have to keep plugging it in if you accidentally leave the backlit keyboard on. So all in all, I absolutely love it. Let me show you guys how I use it on my TV box so you have a good idea on how I use it and how fast I type with it. Right away, I wanna let you know I, I'm still kind of getting used to this keyboard and it's been about a week already. So it's, I find it a little hard for me just because the, the placement of the keys and everything like that, even though it's a QWERTY keyboard, I, it's kind of difficult for me, but I'm still able to type pretty well, not fast, but pretty well. So with that said, let me turn it over and then show you guys my TV. All right, so here we are, and this is the main menu for my TV box. For reference, if you guys are curious, I'm using the Emish Android TV box, and I'll link everything in the description box below, just so you guys could check out more features about it, and yeah, so with that said, here we go. I'm just going to start off with the arrow pads right here. You don't really have to, obviously. You could start off however way you want because the reason why I wanted to start off with this is when you're typing in or at least trying to select a certain application, if you did want to use the mouse, you could just click on the mouse and voila, it just pops out almost instantaneously, which I absolutely love. So, and wherever the box is, pretty much highlighted which is right here and your mouse is over here you could just use the arrow keys and it would still carry off where it started which I like that a lot so let's start off right here this is the I always forget the name so this is the vid on XBMC which is using the Kodi application <laughs> absolutely love Kodi if you guys don't know what Kodi is I recommend checking it out so let's go right here. And right now, it seems like the mouse speed is slow for me. So I'm going to type in function spacebar and that should speed it up a little bit. So let's go see, yep, sped it up a little bit more. And we're going to type in something. I've already watched this TV show, so I'm going to just type it anyways because it's my favorite TV show. So game of thrones and the reason why I just left it misspelled is because I wanted to show you how fluent I am with the keyboard which I am not that fluent in all honesty because the way it's all organized right here it's a little cramped in my opinion and the positioning I often mistaken the M for the N so at least, I mean, sorry, the N for the M. So when I type in Thrones, I often type in Throms. So that's kind of a bummer right there that I just wanted to show you guys, but let's do that again. Game of Thrones. After a while, you guys will get used to it, so it's not much of a big deal, in my opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much it right here. When you type in the, when you press the E button right here, that is actually your home button. So press that. It takes you home. So that's one of the things that I mentioned on my full review is that this button right here, which I assume would be the home button, it's not. When you press that, check out. It doesn't do anything, at least for the Android TV box. So we're on the YouTube app right here. Let's minimize this. And let me show you guys, you don't have to left click. This is neat, you could just tap. I thought that was awesome, how you could just tap. Isn't it? Oh, nice. If you're on the YouTube app, it will 
Nice, that is sweet. And then right click to go back. It will search. Isn't that brilliant? So on the Kodi app, it won't work, but on the YouTube app, it will. I thought that's very, very useful. So I like that. Let's see if, you, if it would work on Google Chrome. So you're right there. I'm assuming it would. Yes, it does. Google.com. The thing about this is when you press enter, uh, this is only for TV boxes. I've owned three different ones. When you press enter, it selects everything. That's very annoying. So it's not the keyboard itself. It's just the actual TV box. So that's very neat how it does that search button. So let's go back home right here. With that said, my name is Jefferson. This is the Cynic Mini keyboard. Absolutely love it. With that said, have a great day, guys, and take care. Edge, which looks really nice, but there's no pockets. On the back, there is a pocket right here. So when you open it up, that's how it looks.